Hi everybody. I wanted to do this video because um, a lot of people have been wondering if, if this robocall was connected to the Convention of States project. And I think um, after reviewing um, the voice of Tamara Colbert from uh, Texas, she's the Texas State Director of the Convention of States project, I think it's obvious that it's her voice. And anyways, I want you to listen to the robocall. Uh, if, if you haven't listened to it already, uh, this is basically a robocall that was used to Kavanaugh, a South Dakota representative, because he did not want to call an Article 5 convention. This happened back in 2018. Now, this event where Mark Meckler is here and, and you know, and, and having to listen to robocall, this just happened a few days ago um, in February of 2020. So anyways, here we go. Hi, this is Tamara. Do, do you hear that she announces herself as Tamara? Okay, and if you don't know who Mark Meckler is, let me draw an arrow towards him real quick and you'll know who he is. There he is. Okay. Watch his gestures as this is getting played. According to public records, David Johnson has a criminal and civil file that spans 16 pages long with a history of disturbing behavior. In 2003, David Johnson was charged with refusing to leave the premises. In March of 2005, he was charged with stalking and again in September of 2007. In 2017, he threatened a secretary and then earlier this year was accused of threatening a female legislator on the House floor in the air. It's time now for us to take a stand for all those who couldn't by making a change this November and sending David Johnson a very loud and clear message. We will not tolerate violence against our women. This call is proudly paid for by the Shining Light Pack. And after I did this presentation, Mark Meckler made no apology. He did not even acknowledge that this uh, robo dial or robo call had been played. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you uh, some documents here so you can see them for yourself. If you want to see the the um, the postcard that was used to Kavanaugh, the state representative, that that's one side of it. To, anyways um and this is so there were two articles here I, I do understand this is a liberal publication out of south dakota it's from the dakota free press but they do have links to you know what actually went into this pack and so you, here's a campaign finance disclosure for the convention of states south dakota pack as you scroll down you can see that mark meckler put in twenty five hundred dollars and uh convention of states action put in ten thousand dollars so on page two here you can see that and anyways, their money went into the Shining Light Pack right as it gets started, right before that robocall was done. So it was a strategic move on behalf of the South Dakota Pack to put money into the Shining Light Pack to run that robodial, which is basically um, Kavanaughing a, a state representative, you know, with 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 lying about his record in order to try to get it to where he wouldn't win the election. So anyways. Um, th these are the two articles you can review to, to read more about it. So I'm going to show them here. You can easily do a DuckDuckGo search on them if you'd like to. Listen to this. This is Tamara Colbert. This is her voice. Herself. And today, it is very important that we're here today talking about this because Memorial Day is not our own pleasure, but honoring those who made the ultimate sacrifice for what we are here asking for you to pay attention to, which is the Constitution and liberty. Hi, they shed their blood at the tree of liberty so we can be here today. God didn't give us a spirit of timidity, but power, self-discipline, and love. America's founders didn't agree on everything, but they did agree that ultimate power and government should reside in a body of laws. That's why they created the Constitution, and that the Constitution must be protected and reside close to the people in their states, not with one man and not with a large centralized federal government. Are we radical? Anyways, if it, for supporting if the Constitution? 
it was. I, I think then I am Amber guilty Culver of being a uh, radical be self-governance activist, and, Texas, and I am Texas looking for all of you to do the right thing. I hope you enjoyed learning uh, from this. Uh, you know, you can always follow Mark Meckler on Twitter and um, share these videos with him. And um, if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to get more of my videos, just feel free to subscribe. Make a nice comment below if you'd like. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. And if you're an American that's taking action against the call for an Article 5 convention, thanks for doing what you do because um, it's, it's really – uh, it's a dangerous thing to be calling for right now because uh, there's a lot at stake in America and we're not going to get anything better than our current U.S. Constitution if this Article 5 convention is called. Uh, they're going to they're going to make it to where it's it's they're going to legalize uh, spending that that's currently illegal through a balanced budget amendment. Uh, they're going to add term limits, which the founding fathers stood against because found, because term limits don't work. If you want term limits, move to the states of California and, and Michigan and Colorado because that's that's what's going on there. So anyways, thanks for watching.